Hey guys, I'm back from PAX. Don't, don't worry, it's, it's just me. I'm back from PAX. And I thought it was a pretty fruitful trip. I got all these super useful and practical things like, like these pins, see? They're all, they're all, they're all cats because I like cats. Cats on cats on cats on cats. <laughs> So the giant consumer electronics show known as IFA isn't actually supposed to start until September 4th, but a bunch of the biggest tech companies are already getting their press conferences going on in Berlin. There is literally multiple boatloads of news here. So this whole episode is basically going to be one big <laughs> lightning round. Did I do that right, Jack? Jack? Yeah, I did. I did that totally right. Okay. Here we go. Asus came out strong with gaming products that use their new ROG titanium armor and plasma copper color scheme. There's a gaming laptop, the GX700, that has a water cooling attachment just because they can. They also announced the successor to the G751 gaming laptop, the G752. The PG348Q is a curved IPS ultrawide 1440p G-Sync monitor. The Maximus 8 Extreme is a gaming motherboard that comes with a headphone amp and 10 gigabit per second ethernet card. The Matrix GTX 980 Ti is a fancy 980 Ti. An updated version of the G20 compact gaming desktop was also released, and the ROG 7.1 surround sound gaming headset with a USB sound card. On the consumer side, ASUS announced the pricing for the ZenWatch 2, which will start at 170 bucks. Showed off the RTAC 5300 tri-band router, which will be one of the most powerful routers ever built, and unveiled the Vivo Stick, a better version of Intel's Compute Stick that runs Windows 10. Okay, one down. On to Acer. The company is looking to get into gaming in a big way with their Predator branding. They announced the new Predator 15 and 17 gaming notebooks with customized keys, the G3 and G6 gaming desktops, and even a Predator projector that can throw a 1080p image across 120 inches of wall. If that's not cool though, they also announced three new gaming monitors, the new X34 with a curved 34-inch ultra-wide 1440p IPS screen that supports G-Sync and has built-in overclocking to 100 hertz apparently. And the Z35, another curved ultra-wide screen, but this one's 35 inches with a 1080p AMVA screen with G-Sync and overclocking up to 200 hertz. And finally, the XB1, not to be confused with the Xbox One, with 27 inches, 1440p, IPS, and 144 hertz. Acer finally launched their 8-inch Predator gaming tablet with four front-facing speakers, but also launched the 6-inch Predator phone with the same overconfident design? What's a little more interesting is Acer's non-gaming phone, the Jade Primo, the first phone to support Windows 10's new Continuum feature, which lets you get the full Windows 10 desktop experience with universal apps if you connect a keyboard, mouse, and monitor. It's got pretty beastly specs for a phone as well. And last but not least, Acer unveiled a new modular PC concept. It's always interesting when companies do these since PCs are already pretty modular, but the Revo is a series of stackable blocks. The base unit is the actual PC with a Pentium or Celeron chip inside. R really? <laughs> really? Pentium or Celeron? Okay, but anyways, it's addable blocks for storage, video cards, extra connectors, and what have you not. And I said this was the last, but Acer actually un also unveiled a bunch of new laptops, convertibles, and Chromebooks too. Eh. Well, all of this and Lenovo felt left out of the whole gaming thing, so they're getting into that too. They announced the new Y-series gaming desktops, laptops, and even peripherals. There's a mechanical keyboard, headset, and mouse in there. Seriously, Lenovo, you announced way too many things. Look at this. Way too many. Okay, so the more interesting stuff includes the second-gen Moto 360. They've released full specs with 42 and 46 millimeter sizes and a launch date in a couple weeks. Yep, that flat tire is still there though. Come on. Really? The Fab and Fab Plus are giant phones with nearly 7-inch screens, and the Yoga 3 Pro is an Android tablet with a built-in 70-inch projector. That's all we're talking about from Lenovo, guys, because seriously, less stuff next year. Less stuff. Okay, we're almost there. Intel fleshed out their lineup of Skylake processors with the Core M variants now being named the M3, M5, and M7. Like, like BMW? Nah, they're more like smaller versions of the i3, i5, and i7. They also demoed a way for laptops to use wireless charging with a mat installed under a desk. Together with Intel's Ygig tech, this could lead to completely wireless work desk, which is pretty damn cool. Sony fully unveiled the Xperia Z5 lineup, the 4.6-inch Z5 Compact, the 5.2-inch Z5, and the 5.5-inch Z5 Premium with a 4K screen. 
So unnecessary. So unnecessary. They've got Snapdragon 810s inside and Sony's new 23 megapixel Exmor RS camera sensor. They're also waterproof with a side mounted power button and fingerprint sensor. Okay, last one. MSI also updated their gaming laptops with Skylake processors and launched new affordable B and H170 gaming motherboards. All right, that's it, I think. I think I need to sit down, but I have to read this tweet. Flibbity flobbity, zibbity zobbity. Man, talking about all this PC stuff makes me think about PCs. Well, NCX PC makes reliable pre-built PCs at all price points. You can pick and customize whatever model you want, and then our PC specialists assemble, test, and optimize its performance for you. The latest model to come out of the NCX PC lab is the Back to School eSports Special. It features the Corsair Carbide Series 100R Silent Edition case, Vengeance RAM, a Force LS Series SSD, and water cooling by the Hydro Series H60. Add in a Superclock GTX 960 or 970, and a 600 watt power supply by EVGA, ASUS Z97e motherboard, and an Intel i5 or i7 processor, and you've got a pretty formidable system. If you want to learn more, click here or in the link in the description. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, if you excuse me, I have a lot more swag to dig out from PAX and going through PAX withdrawal, so I'm just gonna go cuddle up in my Witcher 3 t-shirt. Not cool, but... I'm sick. I'm alive. Get away from the audience, Jack. Yeah, you're gonna get <laughs> sick. Come on. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> you're Canadian. Still applies.